Hi y'all, today we're going to talk about playing with multiple fingers at the same time on guitar. So if you are starting to get into playing more solos, more dance music, this becomes a really necessary skill. And it's one that I think is taken for granted by a lot of players. Uh, there's a lot of things that I see that get in the way of really proficient playing with multiple fingers uh, from the onset with a lot of people. So let's talk about that. And I want to preface this by saying that if you're going to get into playing with multiple fingers, you need to already be really good playing with each individual finger. So if, for instance, you feel really awkward about playing with the ring finger, don't try the ring and the thumb. Just get used to playing with the ring finger. Same thing with middle, index, and thumb. Make sure that you're using big knuckles. Make sure that you are following through all the way and that you feel relaxed as you play. And if you can check off every finger as hitting all of those criteria, then you are ready to move on to multiple fingers. And so let's talk about that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is try every combination. And let's start with the thumb being the consistent one. So we'll do thumb and index, thumb and middle, and thumb and ring first. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is not actually leave any fingers on the guitar. So if you're doing thumb and index, just let middle and ring hang out near the strings where they're relaxed and natural, but not on the strings. We're not gonna be leaving any fingers behind on the strings. So try playing thumb and index. Make sure that you end with the index finger in the palm and the thumb on the side of the index finger. Still aim for the big knuckles and still try to feel like both fingers are moving exactly as they would if they were playing by themselves, okay? Another thing I see a lot is I see people leave the guitar as they try to play. They'll, they'll play and pluck up, you know, and they don't sound good, and they wind up like a foot away from the guitar. So how you can prevent that is to use your left hand and place it no more than an inch away from your uh, right hand, and just don't touch your left hand. And don't cheat either. Don't scoot that left hand back as you play. Keep it where it is. And if you can avoid touching it, then you'll get used to that. We really need to stay right where we are for good sound, good accuracy, and speed. However, I think the reason why people do it is they're afraid of hitting extra strings. You don't want to hit all those extra strings and sound bad or in an uncoordinated way. However, it's actually better to let that happen at first. And somehow, just magically, you will stop doing it, I promise. So stay close to the guitar. The guitar is your friend. Don't feel claustrophobic from the strings, okay? Once you feel good about that, move on to thumb and middle. And uh, if I didn't say this with an index finger, for all of these, we're gonna be letting all our fingers move together. Just, just make a fist, pretty much. Same thing with the ring finger, and notice I'm playing them on different strings. I'm playing index on string three, middle on string two, and ring on string one. So that's pretty much it in terms of what to look out for. Uh, the thing to do then is to apply that good technique and good practice to every combination. So thumb and index, thumb and middle, thumb and ring, thumb, index, and ring, thumb, index, and middle, excuse me, thumb, index, and ring, thumb, middle, and ring, thumb, index, middle, and ring. Notice all of them, I'm trying to end in that fist. I'm aiming for big knuckles and I'm not leaving the guitar. Then you can do those same combinations, but take away the thumb. So just index and middle index and ring, middle, uh, index, middle, and ring, okay, and then I believe the last one we would have is middle and ring. So the key is you actually do want to practice every single combination. You want to get good at every single one, and you don't want to encounter a moment in a piece that you play where you haven't practiced that one motion and you don't feel good about it, and even though everything that came before and became and comes after is good, that one little moment could derail the whole piece. 
So if you're in this phase of your playing where you're starting to play multiple notes, different patterns, you're really starting to move your way up in the guitar repertoire, then practice everything. Hit every angle, practice every finger, make sure it all feels really good. One last takeaway, I just want to review the things that we talked about. That is to still use the big knuckle to feel like you're playing with just one finger, with all the fingers, you know, play the exact same way. And then do not leave the guitar. Make sure that you are staying close to the guitar. All right, this has been my lesson on playing with multiple fingers. Good luck incorporating this into your playing, and I'll see you next time.